Okay, let's move on and close the show out with Belly of the Weeks for episode 419. Rob is with us, Andy, Matty and me, Steve. choku has been on, uh, Ozzy's been on at one point and Ben was here for a fleeting appearance as well. What shall we play to ease us into the Belly of the Weeks? What about this post-fight interview after Chris Ariola defeated Travis Walker? I've been looking at, I've been watching a few post-fight interviews lately and Chris Ariola seems to pop up quite regularly. He's quite the character, as you'll no doubt find out. Still undefeated, but it looked like a close call in that first round. What happened? He just got, I just got caught, man. That's pretty simple. You know, he's a strong guy. And I felt it right away. And that's why I was backing up to the ropes. I wanted to see what, what, what he had to offer. And you know what? Honestly, he's just strong, man. He's a strong guy. Tell me what you see here, Chris. Let's take a look. Um, myself? Yeah, right now we see Chris Ariel. That's right. Here we go. You know, just caught me right there with a nice right right hand, you know, our counter hook, and then the right hand just came right in, round the bun, man, nothing else to say, come around the bun, I have my hands up, he's a strong motherfucker, he just got, I just got caught in, that's what happens. Chris, you took a knee, seemed to be aware of what was going on and collect yourself, what were you thinking at that moment? Shit, <laughs> I gotta get back up and uh, get that point back, that was, that was my main concern. And maybe next time you will be concerned about the weight and go to war. Will you, are you going to have to be concerned about the weight against the Klitschko brother? I'm, I'm already concerned. I'm already thinking about it. You know, as soon as, soon as, soon as the fight was over, I was thinking about a Klitschko already. So, you know, I'm going to come ready, come tomorrow, you know, probably eat some noodles or something. And then uh, come Monday back in the gym and hit the road work, man. Good old Chris Ariola there after he's been over <laughs> Travis Walker. Big Chris oh. Nips, eh? Do you guys even know what Benudo is? Uh, no. It's, it's it's pig intestines. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's like, you know, tripe. Uh, he, he might get on that ahead of his fight with Andy Ruiz, and, uh, Matty. You, you never know, man. It's it's a very popular dish for uh, for Mexicans and Mexican-Americans alike. Uh, it's not my thing. Um, I, I love myself a great deal of uh, all sorts of uh, Mexican and Southwestern cooking, but uh, I don't do the organ meats. You'll do the yeah. okra scoop, Matty, you know? What's, what's that, Andy? Okra soup. Get Dr. I, Joseph on to get you a batch of it whipped uh, up, man. man. I don't Fanny want any of that. I don't want any of that witch doctor shit. <laughs> uh, it'll get you going, man. <laughs> uh, Josh will want, want a rematch on that shit, baby. Hey. <laughs> on the okra soup. Uh, one guy who's been on the okra soup and many other things is Snoop himself. Title watch, gloves up, guns down, peace okra, out. Okra Snoop. <laughs> he was I is a motherfucker last night, baby. Uh, uh, Declan Graffin has nominated Andre's rendition of DMX's Get It on the Floor in the post fight as well. But what about this belt, Andy? We love a belt, don't we? And this is one hell yeah. of a belt. That's a great belt. I think even Regis, uh, Regis Program might have been a recipient on one of those belts last night. So he's back in the title mix, baby. What a belt that is. Probably close <laughs> to the Bobby to Toys R Us or something like that. You know? nah, I seen from Argos, isn't it? <laughs> 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 What's going on, man? Look at the fucking big suit. Okay, now. That's home bargains or something like that. You, know? <laughs> you, you expect, look at the caption on that. Should be one, two, three into the four. Snoop Doggy Dog, Al Bernstein, and Della Hoya are at your door. <laughs> 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 I, 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 Ding dong, million high. <laughs> I, I feel like that belt should come with some sort of uh, a children's wrestling at home kit. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Snoop. Try, and, try and make it with season at the edges there again. Is that the world champion by any chance? Oh, no? um, Fight Club Trilla Versus or something? No, I don't think there's any world championship um, no. claims being made here, thankfully. Okay, William McNamara has nominated Omicron Beats, obviously been keeping up with the boxing scene lately. Does HBO even get good fights anymore? <laughs> Everything seems to be on the zone now. <laughs> well, he's, it's, he's right. There's Mr. a truck Mr. goals to count that one. I was going to say, Mr. Current Affairs, uh, that person, Okra Magan Beats, yeah. whatever his name is, eh? When he finds out about the pandemic, he's going to be fucking gutted. Oh, mate, when he, when he, when he, when he hears that, uh, that, uh, that it's no longer called the USSR, Ethan Oscar. <laughs> bang! 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 <laughs> oh, you want some more of that? Bang! Bang! Yeah, I, I remember HBO boxing fondly. Oh, good times. Dicks. <laughs> Uh, Danny Robson was alerting us. The comeback is on. Heavyweight contender Daniel Dubois will take on Bogdan Dinu for the WBA interim heavyweight title on June the 5th. So uh, uh, let me get this straight. Dubois loses five his belts. voice and then he comes back for belt number five. What, what do they need an interim championship for when they've got another four belts going on? Mate, they only need to create one more belt and have a Super 6 tournament if they want. So you've got Joshua, Trevor <laughs> Bryant, Robert Hellenius, Manny Char, 
the winner of this fucking fight, and then I don't know who else you want to belt up. Just create a belt for fucking somebody. I don't know Wilder, Ortiz, Uzik. I don't know. It's just a sham. Five belts in the heavyweight division, WBA. Sorry, Panamanian. Sorry. Am I misunderstanding the purpose of an interim though? Is it not like someone's a champion, they're legitimate, they get an injury, two guys fight for an interim to keep things going, the, the champion comes back to fight the yeah. winner? Is that, is that not what the purpose is supposed to be? That's the purpose. Of it, but as you say, Josh was tied up. Obviously, Trevor Bryant, world champion apparently. Manny Char got put into recess for something, I think. And you got Robert Hellenius holding one of those gold titles. So I've no idea how the interim belt comes about. I mean, there's, uh, well, to be honest, the other guys aren't active really as, as such, are they? So you can see why maybe, you know, another belt's been created. But it's just, it's just oh. a fucking farce, man. Let it go. Yeah. Uh, Danny Robson uh, was amongst many people to nominate David Bod. A Boxing World UK said, talk about leaving it in the ring. Barrera versus Morales trilogy is the stuff of absolute legend. Uh, David Bod said, this was just how Shannon Courtney versus Ebony Bridges fight looked on Saturday. Cracking fight and very entertaining. <laughs> well done, both of you. <laughs> One of the greatest fights of all time, eh? It's getting put in the same breath as Shannon Courtney and Ebony Bridges. Yes. Yes. <laughs> The boys are out in force. Alex Reynolds, Ray Lex 54. Dillian White not only has a better resume, but also has won a greater proportion of those fights. For me, Amir Khan's legacy will always be tainted by the fact that he hasn't avoided Kell Brook like the plague. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's got to be a bot account, man. Oh, dear. Not only has Dillian White got a better resume than Khan, but Khan's uh, resume and legacy has been defined by the fact that he's avoided Kell Brook, apparently, according to Alex Reynolds. Oh, dear me. Uh, Tony Bellew, uh, giving Eddie a pat on the back. That's brilliant. Champions should fight champions. Well done, Eddie Hearn. Billy the Fish is nominating Anthony Vacant Belt Bellew. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Anthony. Every title he won was vacant. Champions should fight champions. Well said, Tony. Well said. A man like Chin has nominated the Dazone Group, who managed to mute the entirety of Eddie Hearn's portion of the Chris Mannix interview. He was probably talking rubbish anyway, but that's beside the point. Eddie getting muted here, Andy. Is this yeah. a complaint? No, it's no because I think the UK version. I think because I seen the I, I was watching the, the United States version, and Eddie was actually when he was talking, he was actually going out to the entire arena, whereas Mannix wasn't he? He was like going out to the I don't know the TV section or whatever and that. But I but I've seen people complaining about that. But um, yeah, I thought uh, Mannix was kind of like nodding along like a nodding dog. Coin. He loves to nod his head. That guy, doesn't he? Like a fucking dog, just like going like, yeah, yeah, Eddie, okay, take your duck out, go on, Eddie, yeah, uh huh. Uh-huh. The boys are loving it. Uh, World Boxing Council been nominated by David Allman for uh, wishing Jake Paul and Ben Askren good luck and good health in the boxing match they will hold today. Missing a trip to WBC for not getting one of their own trinkets on the line. But I suppose, why would they get their own belt on the line when this beauty is in existence? That's the question. (laughs) Good old WBC. Uh, Oh, yeah, I was going to... What the hell was going on here? Paul was being pushed up and shoved through the legs of this gentleman on the floor. Uh, your win for the win, said Marvellous Marvin Hagley used to do all the road work in combat boots because he thought sneakers were too much of a plush luxury. And yet people run with sneakers all the time now. Whatever gets you into the right mindset, I guess. PJ Bennett 18 says, what the fuck? You can't make any comparisons between Marvellous Marvin Hagler and Jake Paul. Dear Lord, Twitter is on fire today. I don't know what the boys were doing there, lifting each other up, but... Um, Maybe that's what some sort of, kind of yoga thing or something. I don't know. Yeah, did you see it? it, it at one I, point, I, I he twists him upside down in between his legs. And... Ah, and he's, he had his head going. Glim- oh, that was just weird. Yeah, I don't know. Man. Maybe he got an OnlyFans with that, boys. Mm-hmm. 100 billion, cool boy Steph. That's Stephen Fulton. Says Fury or Joshua, honest opinions and why. Rick Glazer says Fury because he's a natural born fighter. Well, in fact, Joshua is more manufactured. Fury was birthed to be a fighter. That's why Father John Fury. Uh, called him Tyson. If his father wanted him to be a genius, he would have named him Einstein Fury. That's my that's my take. <laughs> yeah, I, love Rick. I thought that Rick. was just. I thought Einstein Fury was just Isaac Lowe's nickname. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rick. He gets people oh. triggered sometimes. I talk to him for time to time. He's fucking brilliant. No, Patrick has nominated that one. Yeah, I can't remember who nominated this. I think oh. it was Luke, somebody. But anyway, Ben Damon was announcing the cake for Lucas Brown's birthday, which had a big sort of printed out bust of Lucas and said, <laughs> happy birthday, goat. The <laughs> coat. Oh, looks like Ben Askren as well. It doesn't even look, look like Brown that much. They, they <laughs> Need to get might... a Clarissa Shields version of this cake. Ah, the quote. A quote on it. They might just be referring to, you know, his particular block of Australia. <laughs> Maybe. Good old Lucas Brown. 
Uh, Glenn McCrory has been on fire tonight. Uh, David Almond has nominated him. Holyfield didn't fancy it. Joe Ju- Jones Jr. has disappeared. Mike Tyson, come on, let's do it, says Glenn. He's been having a few drops. Uh, Steve, he, could, he could possibly fight Oscar on the fucking June the 9th. So, hey, you know that's mean? a good shout, Rob, you know. Don't know that. that's, that's on battle, by the way. Glenn McCrory versus Oscar De La Hoya. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Uh, Steve has nominated Belly of the Week nomination for the person emailing Porky Ross 500 times to vote Daniel Kinahan for Porky's Helmets of the Month. Ross <laughs> claims he's had somebody emailing him 500 times, apparently, for, for, to vote for Big Dan. <laughs> Praise be to Daniel Kinahan. Praise be to Dan, indeed. And finally from me, the man himself... Oscar, <laughs> as Rob said, it was it was sad for fans of Oscar, like I'm sure all four of us were as a fighter. He was second to none, but he's an absolute shit show as a as a promoter these days, and as just as gen in general. And you can see why he was sad to see him rambling on all sorts of substances. And I know it's, it was, I don't know, Andy, what do you even say? How much you can say? The guy needs a lot. What do you think about Oscar? It is I mean. Sh- 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 yeah. He's in an event. Well, we're well, nominating an for Belly of the Week. Maybe that's a bit of therapy for him. Maybe I, but hey, come on the show. Maybe help people at all times, even though we've got haters and people like fucking getting a shit and stuff like that. Yeah, talk yeah. to a Scotsman about curing addiction. Yeah, sure. <laughs> 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 but he needs, look, he needs someone to kind of go around about him and just look, just say to him. You know, he needs real mates to go and say, pull him aside. Look, he's been in rehab once. He's clearly back off the wagon and that. He's in a bad way. Um, and you wonder as well what he's going to look like in this fucking fight. I mean, is it going to happen? I don't know. You often wonder as well, because I remember, um, I know this, this is totally like off off topic and that, but there was a period of time, Jean-Claude Van Damme, right, was actually uh, training to come into a, a professional kickboxing fight against a Muay Thai fighter, and that, a real legit bad motherfucker. And the fight fell through, and you know what? Van Damme, he's on the drink and on the drugs and that as well, bipolar disease and all that type of thing. Delahoy will be the same. I would not be surprised if this fight that he's got supposedly lined up is going to fall through. I mean, I've seen a wee video of him in, in the gym, you know, doing uh, some shadow boxing and stuff, but, you know, a fighter's a fighter at the end of the day, but he's not fought in, like, what is it now, 10, 12 years? And and, and the end of his the end of his career was fucking sad as well. He had a couple yeah. of fucking shaky shaky performances then. Like so, what's he going to look like now? I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if, 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 right. me, if you put him in, mate, where like some about a YouTuber like Jake Paul, for example, you would fucking beat him, obviously, in that. But you put him in, mate, a, a boxer. Take I, I didn't see the fight. I didn't see Steve Cunningham last night. But you, uh, Steve Cunningham is a, is a guy who I think looks after himself. He's in the gym constantly. Yeah, from, uh, he looked what in I good read. shape, and he looked in good shape. Yeah, well, there you go. Would you would you take Cunningham? I know there's different weights and stuff like that, but we're, you know, we're talking about. Uh, I mean, it's a shit show. It, it, it's just a joke in that. But even at this point, you'd say like a real fighter like Cunningham would destroy De La Hoya. Even was like an exhibition, and I'm, I'm trying to think of fighters. Oh, Steve would decapitate him. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to think of a better, a better suggestion at that weight, though. And these guys making comebacks and stuff. But I can't think of one. What weight like, is Oscar even going to fight at? Like, I, I would say middleweight, mate. At this at this point, maybe mm. super middleweight. <laughs> yeah, that could be a really interesting one. Oh, Oscar, you're over by three point five grams. Oh, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> just, just got off the plane. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of them ones. Light one coming in. I've spotted it. It's one of them ones you do kind of feel bad laughing at. Like, what happens if he fucking if he's found face down during the week or something? Like, you know what I mean? We're all going to be writing eulogies and that. It is kind of sad. Like, and Andy's right. Someone should get hold of him beforehand and just stop this shit. Like, because that was sad watching it last night. Like, it's funny and all we clown on him because he got a funny voice and everything. But it's fucking sad, man. Like, he was out of his mind on that fucking. Which you can't blame him. Like, how are you not going to be out of your mind watching that? Like, that's. But it's all well and good, like Snoop, up dancing with him and everything. But what if something happens to him? Like, so. It's just, it's just, it's just bad influences in the day. He's in a situation here where people are getting high, they're getting drunk. You've got a guy here who's clearly got a problem with addictions and stuff. It's the last place he needs to be. It's the last place he needs to be fucking mixing about with you guys. Like, hi, Oscar, come in the green room. Let's go and get some debauchery. You know, Oscar's had a checkered fucking background, by the way. I, I'm talking about no serious claims, by the way. Another thing as well is no even 
man up to be the father of a child that he fathered and that, you know, it took years for him to kind of then decide that he was going to take a part in that kid's life and that. So, um, questionable, you know, as a fighter, nobody can take any of him. As a personality and as a person, there's a lot of black holes, man. Okay, and, let's... Yeah, and go black on. fishnets. Yeah. Black fishnets. Now, hopefully everybody can hear me. Sorry about the old connection going there. It, it tells me that my son is back on Fortnite, so there will be blood whenever I get off this call. Uh, we've got one other one coming in here from Demetrius Andre, who says, Big shout out to my guy Future of Boxing and PBC on Fox for making a statement and fighting Montiel when no other middleweight champ would. Can't wait for this. Hashtag Lions only. Hashtag say no to peds. Hashtag twin magic. He also signed it off by tagging in Lenny Montiel, who is the director, regional director for Latin America for the United Nations. So Demetrius Andre is fairly having a good time over there, whatever he's on. Uh, Andy, any nominations from you? <laughs> um, yeah, I've got one for uh, that heavyweight fight uh, with, with the women in Costa Rica yesterday, Hannah Gabriels against Martha Patricia Lara Guyton. It was for the vacant WBC heavyweight title, the vacant WBA light heavyweight title, and it was contracted to fight at 168 for the heavyweight and light heavyweight title. So, uh, yeah, we domination for that one. Um, Oscar, obviously, just an absolute travesty what's happened. Mike Coppinger as well dropping F bombs. Um, you know, Snoop Doggy Dog, I want my fucking money, Jake. Go get me my fucking money. So he gets his money back. If Andrew Holyfield are planning to come back when they fight Tyson. Um don't know if he's gonna be in, on Triller though, we don't know about that one yet. Um I don't want to see Holyfield back fight man, even if it's an exhibition against Tyson man. Jesus Christ. Eh uh, what else? What else? Uh, aye. What was Oscar talking about with, with, with uh, Mike Tyson last night, by the way? Hey, Mike, and love you, man, and all that sort of stuff. And I want to you, touch you. You look man. good, Mike. You feel good. Yeah, that's it. I feel you good. You look good. You felt good. I want to feel you inside. The officer says you could. You could <laughs> Just, he, he, made, he made an offer to Mario Lopez to wash his underwear on his abs as well. That was a bit, that was a bit what's up. To be honest, mate, I think I can just put up the whole Trilla experience as the Belly of the Week nomination for myself this week. That was just, even though I only watched half of it, and obviously like, the shit that kind of fell out off the back end and that, that was like an outer body experience for me last night. That Just to watch Snoop, Snoop Doggy Dog getting stoned out his nut, talk, his mate talking about getting 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 cream pied off one of the guys that was standing next to him. AC Slater just, you know, just <laughs> doing his bit. They need to bring back Zack Attack. Zack Attack, yeah. But, uh, Zach Attack. But yeah, I mean, look, it's just shit all around, isn't it? But it was funny at the end of the day. Well, who knows who else from Saved by the Bell is going to be on the next thriller card? You don't know. You might get some of the Elizabeth Barkley or fucking what's her name? Tiffany Amber Tyson, one of them characters rocking up on the next thriller card. Floyd had a good one this week. It won't be Dustin Diamond. <laughs> Sp yeah. <laughs> Speaking of this, Jay can't. Speaking of this, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Um, thriller card um, Floyd posted late in the truth oh, Floyd yes. fashion this week yes. when it was a fucking pay-per-view event he has to hog the limelight so he posted on his Instagram Jake Paul is being accused of sexual assault by TikTok star Justine Paradise and Floyd said this kid is so thirsty he harassing females some people just don't understand the word no he must <laughs> don't know they're locking everybody up quick for stuff like this it's just a matter of time TikTok says Floyd so you know don't be out harassing females just wrestle them to the ground and then slap my bit a wee bit. <laughs> take Do back six months in the poke and that sort of shit, you know. I like his new beard as well and hair combination. Someone on Twitter said he looks like a young Marvin Gaye now, uh, Floyd Mayweather. So, yeah, Floyd, the irony not lost on Floyd, <laughs> fucking flinging around accusations of harassing women to Jake Paul. Like, so, yeah. Floyd's only okay with it if they take your shoes. <laughs> uh, he going for, uh, nominations first, Rob? Sorry. Yeah, I was going to nominate Floyd for that one. Like, the, yeah, the whole thriller. I, I can't. Like, I feel I do feel bad clowning Oscar De La Hoya, but the the whole setup, like the lineup, when I'm sitting there watching it and I'm listening to them talk, they're all talking over each other like us on Belly of the Week, and it's like fucking <laughs> Snoop, Al Bernstein, Coppinger, Mario Lopez, and De La Hoya. Well, Frank Mayer is fighting Steve Cunningham and a fucking YouTuber is flatlining a fat wrestler. It's just fucking mental. With some musical fucking performances interspersed. Like, I just don't know what the fuck was going on. It's hard to top that, man. That is Joe tough. Fournier is stealing 200 grand, you know, after he'd been banned for, like, I don't know how long it was for, like, PED violations and oh, shit, you know? Oh, oh, Shannon, Shannon Briggs, by the way, said something disparaging about 
Uh, James Tony during the week. I don't want to forget Shannon uh, for a nomination. He said, old combat boot, boot emoji. Old combat boot face over here mumbling some stupid shit again. I can't figure it out. He sounded like he eating a lettuce, tomato, and rock on rice sandwich with mustard. Haters love mustard. <laughs> Stinky face, James. I beat your stink face in like a cardboard box, you pig, with your pot belly. And them silly ass seven piece suits you'll be wearing. Stinky James the mumbler. Let's go, champ. So that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have to go for that one, but <laughs> send do you that, that one, Steve. So you can. Uh, uh... <laughs> do it again, Rob. We need to hear that one again. We do it again. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. To the <laughs> it's like oh, reading Bo's tweets, man. <laughs> yeah, but did he sign off by saying Bo? Bo. <laughs> oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> So it was before. Oh, here we Anything? go. Here we go. Oh, go, on, go on. Old combat boot face over here mumbling some stupid shit again. I can't figure it out. He sounds like he's eating a lettuce, tomato, and rock on rice sandwich with mustard. Haters love mustard. Stinky face, James. I'll beat your stink face in like a cardboard box, you pig, with your pot belly and them silly ass seven piece suits you'll be wearing. Stinky James, the mumbler. Let's go, champ. So. That's what's up. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> I'll, I'll stick it in the chat, Steve. So you can, you can, yeah, do so. There we go. That's my stop ball way. Do so. Uh, Matty, any nominations from you? Not after that, man. Not after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'll probably go for that one, Andy. What, what are you going for? Trilla, the whole Trilla experience. It's just that it was just absolute shit, but funny. People talking about it and that all the same. It's, it's going to. Be, uh, I just. I, I want to be alive to see the day it actually crashes and that because there's no fucking way. Uh, you know they're going to end up making money on this fight. Uh, some of these cars that they're putting out and that as well. Fucking Lopez is getting six million off him shortly as well. Fucking hell. Uh, got, it's it's all going to be some kind of crypto Ponzi scheme, isn't it? Yeah. The end where nobody gets paid. Like it's going to be like fucking Firefest again. Like I was talking to Enzo Mac actually during the last couple of days there and that he was saying that. Uh, uh, ben Askren's quite heavy in his Bitcoin investments and stuff. Um, and he's got quite a wee bit of poppy made off of that. Plus, he got, what was it, 500k there last 500K night as well? 500k last night for a mid's work, man. He didn't even put his hands up. He's like, I know. He got fucking like, he took a dive after one punch, you know. He's almost shagging the wife, walking back to the dressing room as well, you know. It's fucking sick. A thriller for you then, Andy. Who are you going for, Matty? Yeah. I, I'm going with the the rant of mustard and boxes and James Tony mumbling. Yeah, I'm going for that too. I've got it up on screen. Who are you going for, Rob? Tough to go past Triller again, dude. Like, I don't know if we'll ever see the likes of this again. <laughs> Have we seen the likes of it before or since? And the fucking emotional celebration as well from Jake Paul. You swear he's actually fucking beating a real-life fighter as well, like a real-life boxer down on the ground with his fucking emo- and his his pre-fight Conor McGregor pose and everything. When your man was just there waiting for the check, he was like, "Yeah, man, hit me on the jaw, it's grand. Like, oh, don't worry, I'm not worried about this shit." Like, so it would, it would be amazing, though, mate, if uh, when Oscar fights for his show in between rounds, he's got a plate of Charlie just for a sniff to get himself going again, or a, a drink a boiler gin or something like that, and I give him a wee key up the ass and that. Maybe we could have your man in the corner. What's his name? Fucking Louis oh, Panama, Norm- Panama Lewis in the fucking no, so you, you, should get, you should get Norman Stone in there. Norman Stone. <laughs> <laughs> he would be amazing. Fight this fucking guy. <laughs> Norman Stone should be the ref, yeah, and all future Triller fights, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so who are you going for then, Bob? Is it Triller, yeah? Uh, yeah, it has to be Triller, I think, yeah. Oh, two for Triller, two for Shannon. I think we'll uh, drop a, a WBA situation, Andy, shall we? Interim, regular, intergalactic? Yeah, intergalactic, inter... <laughs> I don't know, plutonium titles and stuff like that are quite empty at the minute. Mm. In recess. Yeah. In recess. In recess. Champion recess brings champion in face. retard. <laughs> seven piece suits when he's having them stupid. They're seven only piece seven suits. pieces because Tony's so fat they have to get sewn together now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nomination for Shannon Briggs and James Tony. Mixed in with a bit of Triller for episode 419 of the Belly of the Week. 